Just going to go and pick up my new YouTube uh, partner here. Hey, buddy. You want to try that bacon, don't you? He wants more. You got to look at the camera. Aw. What a big baby. Don't take off. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Okay, here we are. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, here's my new YouTube partner. <laughs> hey, buddy. Who's that? Hey, are you scared? He's not been outside much because up north it's like minus 20, right? Oh. So this is new for him. Plus he's away from the siblings. Right, it's pretty warm here though. It's not so bad. You gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? <laughs> there will be no whining on the trip. Hey? You better get used to the bush. Have you ever been camping? No, probably not. I get it, I get it. So my uh, little buddy, he's tired. Uh, he came from Vanderhoof this morning. I picked him up in Merritt. So that was a nine or ten hour drive and I figured, well, just take a room. I thought about camping out, but let him rest up for another drive. Uh, it's too far to go, you know, 16, 18 hour drive, like straight. Head back home tomorrow. But he will be camping right away. That's funny. I've only had the dog about three hours and it's uh, just playing and so happy. Wait till it gets in the bush. Man, I'm telling you, this is going to be another good bush dog. It's just awesome. We're on our way back and I ran into a couple of subscribers that watch the channel. They invited me for a barbecue. This is Brian. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to have a little barbecue out in the bush and I'm going to get him to try my uh, ferro rod and get a fire going. Yeah. And this is Fritz, another person that watches the videos. So everywhere I go I seem to run into people that watch the videos but they were nice enough to invite me for a day uh, barbecue trip here. But yeah, you're into starting a fire. We'll uh, oh, yeah. show you a trick or two. Okay, see what I can, uh, what I can learn you on this one. Okay, <laughs> okay. That should go. All right, try that. Borrow my knife if you want. And... <laughs> yeah, almost. Maybe try to find a flatter spot, like on the ferro rod. See where it's smooth here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if I can just get ah, there we go. Usually I spoil myself with that wood. This is uh... there. You go. You go out. Darn it. There you go, just keep going like that. I'll try to get it where you need it. Oh. Oh, it went out on us again. The wind is not helping you, buddy. It's not. No. Brian's had it going twice, but we're going to get some birch bark, make it a little easier for him. Did you ever watch uh, MCQ Bushcraft? Uh, English guy? I'm not sh no, I don't think I have, no. I'll just kind of help you with the wind situation we're dealing with. Ooh. There we go. Now we're styling. No problems now, eh? Oh, easy sailing. Let's take fast. this over to the fire. Fritz here, being a subscriber, he had a question for me, but he wouldn't give me any clue to what the question is. He says, you gotta do it on video. So uh, I think it's a trick question. So let's see what it is here. Anyway, Greg, I've watched quite a few of your videos and especially the videos that include fishing mm -hmm. have kind of intrigued me because who taught you how to cast 
a fishing rod. rod. And I get a lot of questions about that. You don't like my style, but it works. Does uh, it work? Well, I catch fish. That one's a four pounder. I just, it's the way I cast since I was a kid and it was just a habit mm -hmm. more than anything. Because I get a lot of people saying, well, that's not how you cast the rod and this and that. And so usually I answer the comments by saying, well, when you've caught as many fish as I have, you can criticize my casting. I wasn't criticizing, <laughs> I was just wondering, just no, wondering just, where you learned all that, well, I'll tell that you, style. That, that style has been with me since I was probably 12 years old. Uh -huh. And it just became a habit, just the two-handed and then the hand. For my ally is the force, and the powerful ally it is. Even occasionally switching the hand to have it go out yeah, further. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's very interesting. I uh, okay. I admire you for sticking with it. Well, I have to now because everybody, some people like the style and uh, some criticize it. Has anybody but. tried to copy it yet? Not that I know of. You see, that's why it's a unique casting style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I well, haven't seen any other videos where people cast like that. You definitely are unique. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Fritz. That's the trick question of the day. Little bushcraft puppy. He's gonna bushcraft be a bush puppy. dog. Mm, you're gonna no doubt of that. My daughter wants to teach him to look for antlers. Oh, a shed hunter. <laughs> shed hunter. Oh, come on. So cute. Are you just gonna eat the steak by yourself, Greg, yep. or what? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with just the steak. I've got a bun here if you want it. Well, we'll see how it goes. That's it. So I just thought that uh, maybe you'd be interested in the first two dogs that I've had. Um, I remember we called our first dog Timber and the girls were very little. And what a smart dog he was. He was a Collie Shepherd Cross. And uh, that dog loved fetching rocks. I think it's a shepherd thing because my second dog did as well. But uh, he was so good, you could throw a rock in the river and he would find it. And while I'd be making the fire, this dog Timber, I could say, go get the firewood. And off he'd go and he'd drag sticks and logs back right to the fire pit. Like he was such a good dog. Lived to 17, we had to put him down. But what a great dog. So my last dog, uh, Shiva, she was a purebred, <coughs> purebred German Shepherd. And um, unfortunately, one morning she went out to use the facilities, the great outdoors, never came back. And uh, eventually was found in a big tree branch, Ponderosa pine, I believe, uh, got killed by a cougar. But she, uh, Shiva, loved hunting, grouse hunting. You'd have the window down for her, she'd have her head out, and if she did the certain whine, you knew that she had seen a grouse. What a great hunting dog she was. Um, just the best. So a lot of it's in the training. This will be a bush dog as well. But um, I'm open to suggestions for names. So after this video, uh, throw out a comment what you think might be a good name. I'm thinking Finley 
uh, one of my friends suggested that because I spend so much time up the Finley Valley in this area and I kind of like that name as well but feel free to uh, give suggestions about the name of the pup because at this point uh, the dog doesn't really know its name it doesn't even know who it is hey sit uh, I think that's why it's not coming to me when I call it So we got to get a name fairly quick for this dog. So throw out the suggestions. Uh, we're going to have a little fire here. Uh, something to eat. Are you cold? Are you cold? Look out. Out. Can't start a fire with you there. What, you want to help, do you? Is that what you want? I'll put it out. I know. Just trying to help. Maybe I can teach you how to do that, hey? That's my knife, buddy. You cut yourself. You cut yourself. Don't take off. You see how you do it? Cold on your feet. So I'm going to uh, cook up some of my uh, brother's bacon. My brother has a great recipe for making your own homemade bacon and it's just awesome dynamite. My next video we're going to smoke some bacon up. Homemade smoker, follow his recipe. Well he already seasoned one for me. You're going to want to watch my next video if you want to make your own homemade bacon. Best bacon I ever had. My brother, he's a gourmet chef. He gave me some bacon. I'm gonna cook up for myself and the dog on the fire here. But he also gave me a slab that he seasoned and I'm just waiting to smoke it. Best bacon, you gotta watch that next video. Looks pretty good. Well, I know it's good. I like to cut mine thick. <laughs> you want to try that bacon, don't you? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Holy smokes. Well, I know he likes it. It's still too hot for you? Mmm. Isn't that good? That is just the best bacon you'll ever have. Hey. Okay. Oh, what a good boy. Now he's sitting. He wants more. I'll see you on the next one. Still working on my fish o too, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure to share. Keeps the channel going. Appreciate y'all. You gotta look at the camera. Aw, what a big baby.